The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Inu Tavi here, and today we're going to take a look at G.I. Joe Classified Tripwire as Absara and McLeod. Don't really know anything about the rat. I know they used rats for sniff out explosives a long time ago. Um, never had Tripwire as a kid. The only thing I remember from Tripwire was like the comic. Uh, I think him and Covergirl were like introduced to the team at the same time. And I just remember this because he snuck up behind them and planted mines on them. And one of the characters said, hey, you dropped that. And he said, yeah, they're mines. And the guy said, yeah, I know they're yours. It it was funny at the time, I guess. But anyway, I just, just remember that from the comic. And excited to take a look at this guy. You know, he comes with a bunch of accessories. Uh, the robot is kind of the norm for like EOD and stuff now. Uh, the rat, I guess, a long time ago, they used to sniff explosives. And maybe it's a nod to the another comic or cartoon. I don't know. Uh, but excited to take a look at this guy. He is number 78. Nice artwork there on the side. 6.2 inches. Comes with all kinds of stuff. We'll take a look at it. I'm not a big fan of the EOD suit, uh, but it is an option. So at least they give it to you. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, uh, and McLeod mobile armored control lever for explosive ordnance disposal. Okay. That's crazy. But anyway, tons of accessories. Uh, the backpack and stuff kind of nods to the uh, old figure. Uh, we got a remote, I guess, for the robot. Got a pistol. It's like maybe a 45, And uh, different helmets. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll see how that plugs in. Just showing his shoulder and then the helmet there uh, with the chin straps. And then I guess it's got different neck collars. So a lot of accessories. Uh, man, getting hit up hard by Pulse. Uh, you know. They were shipping the, uh, the Crimson Strike team and then Chuckles and then, man, slow it down, y'all. You guys are getting nuts here right at the end of the year. But anyway, let's open up the box and take a look at everything it comes with. All right, art in the background, plastic ties hold him in. He's carrying his pistol. Pistol doesn't look like the pistol he comes with. Uh, that's a nice looking 45, so good job on that. Port for the blast effect. Well done. Comes with a big box. Uh, everything was in one baggie, which I'm kind of surprised because normally they do multiple baggies, but hey, that's not a big deal. But here it is, Tripwires, Apsara, McLeod, 78, big old box. His metal detector was wrapped in cardboard. And then we get uh, EOD vest, flexible plastic here. I think this makes sense because you need to uh, have that available. You got plugs right there so you can snap it in. We'll see how this holds up in the long term. Uh, we got different collars here, I guess, for the, for the vest and stuff like that. I gotta see how that works. Uh, maybe one. Not sure how they work yet. Look at that. Got one helmet here. Uh, I guess it's kind of a nod to the original. We got this. Right, ear pelotors or muffs or Whatever you want to call them on the side here. The helmet, goggles built in, chin strap, fit over the head. We've got one rat. Yep, Sarah, I guess. It doesn't do anything. Has a red harness on, painted eyes and ears. It's pretty good. They do good with animals. Really good. Uh, we've got his backpack, which is pretty neat. So you can plug in the uh, mines, I guess. Plug them into like that. And then, you know, you can have the handle for the metal detector. Backpack is flat. We'll see how that works in the backpack. Uh, we've got different color greens. We've got a plug here for, you could plug in this metal detector in there and a place to hold it. Is there another spot for the mines? There's two mines. Uh, I thought, well, I thought you'd be able to plug in more than one. But, yeah, got a remote, 
which is basically a Nintendo Switch with some antennas for <laughs> running the drone. Like I showed the colors, here's the EOD helmet. It doesn't, it'd be cool if that slid up, but it's molded in. Gray plastic, got kind of a yellow on top. Visor, some nice detailing on the back here. Uh, let's see, we shaded 45, looks good. Got his uh, metal detector here, which doesn't really articulate any. I thought that would move a little bit, but you know, seems weird. That... Does it? No, it does not. But I guess the way he holds it with his wrist and looking for a mine or whatever. I thought this would plug into the backpack more. And then we've got the robot here, which is pretty cool. Got a handle you can carry him. Uh, this arm articulates around. It's got some red lights there. This moves up on the hinge. And then you've got the grabbers. They don't close, but they're nicely detailed. At, you know, where they can maybe pick up a mine. I don't know. You can rig that, hold it, or whatever. Bunch of accessories. And then let's bring in the figure. It's got kind of a generic kid sculpt to me. It reminds me of like Captain America type face. I don't know. Outfit. He's got on uh, this here. Outfit. You can take this off. Uh, this is what he comes with. Which I kind of like this one. To be honest with you. Um, if I can get it to snap. I, that's the only thing about this stuff. I just don't know how long it's going to hold up. It's got these gray leg pieces here. Uh, we can plug in the pistol like that. That's fine. Outfit, I mean, it's a pretty good nod to the original toy. You like plug this helmet over his face and let's see if we can do it. And you got trip bar. I mean, pretty good. Nice greens, nice gray. Uh, you can remove this suit. We'll show it. Uh, this is kind of a standard configuration. Put the backpack in. Man, I don't know how this backpack's going to work. Oh, wow. Okay, that went in perfect. That, that's great. I mean, that's really, really good. Most of the time, they just don't work well, but uh, awesome. I wish there was another spot for the mine, like two mines to hold it. I, I'm not sure if I'm missing something here. Not and uh, trying to get the mine out. It's going to be scratching up the plastic trying to get it out. So I um, might have to figure out a different way to do it. See, you're going to tear it up trying to do that. That's unfortunate. Uh, two mines. He comes with two mines. You should be able to do that. Is there anywhere to store the remote? I guess you could store it on there if you wanted to while you're using the, the thing. Don't really see. Don't, you know, you can carry the robot by hand. It's got a little handle, but it seems like it's too small. And I don't know if you can carry it in your backpack. So there's some some things I don't like about that. I mean, here's the bottom of it. Even, it would be nice if it would, like, fit on here somewhere. I don't see how that's going to work. So, uh, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Weapon storage is a big thing I like. I mean, you don't have it on this figure. So take this backpack off. This backpack is fantastic. Plugs in perfectly. Got that on the side. Gray pauldrons on the leg. Green, gray. Nice. I mean, he's a standard Joe. He can look down. I, I say he can. I mean, not much. He can look up much better. Butterflies. Rotation of bicep. Double elbow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. On camera. Ha, <laughs> ha. The arm just popped out of joint. The arm just popped out of joint. Ah, I've never seen that. That's never happened. On the bicep rotation. Wow. That has never happened. So, uh, not sure if I'm a fan of that. You got an ab crunch, waist rotation. All this vest is going to limit that leg up, leg to the side. Uh, got a lot of gear on. Double knee. He's got a double knee. That thing is ridiculously tight. No pins, but that's good. Boot joint and then rocker, toe up and down. So, depends on how you want to run with him. So, we're going to, this is a standard configuration. Let's take this off uh, and then let's change this helmet. 
Uh, let's let's do that off camera because we're this ain't going good. All right, so this is what I come up with on this. I think it's right. I actually would need to go check out a picture of one, but uh, it seems like I remember the color comes up like that. But anyway, because uh, that'd have to be the way it goes. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to do like a figure in the background doing like a diffusing ID or something like that, and you could do like a generic EOD guy with this, you could do that. I mean, it's pretty cool. You got this different color. You got another one you can use. Really, I think you're supposed to use uh, with the other helmet, uh, but you could make this one work too if you want to. It's just kind of option up there to, for you. Uh, this vest, not a whole, I mean, bringing the other one. I mean, some differences there, right? But not a ton. Not super different. I mean, it's just, I guess it's more, you know, here's the back of it, more solid on the back. I guess it's supposed to represent EOD, but I uh, figure it's nice. I mean, I don't, you know, this is one of those ones where I never had the kid. I guess I just wanted to try it out and all the kind of, all the accessories just kind of run for me. Now, one thing that with this figure of mine, this arm has popped off several times. So I'm going to have to, I might just end up, uh, <laughs> I, I don't want to do it. But, I, you know, that joint has popped off at least twice while I was putting this helmet on. So we'll see how that goes. But, yeah, you can just, helmet just comes straight off uh, and fits on nicely. So I like that they did that and it's not a removable head. So, I mean, you could just, you know, if you wanted to do that. Without the collar, you could do it. And it's a nice little helmet. So, you know, plenty of little accessories here. Um, would I say this is a must-have? I don't know, man. This is kind of one of those ones. This is another one that, you know, I picked up because I wanted to try it out. I like the Joes, but I don't know if I actually necessarily needed this guy, to be honest with you. Um, I'm glad I got him, but uh, this is... I think this is more of the ones that if you had this guy as a kid and rung that bell for you then definitely pick him up. Here he is without a watch. See, look at this. I mean, that, that, I mean, it's on there right now, but that joint is really loose. It's kind of crazy out of the box. And some of these joints are so tight, but you know, without, I mean, you could remove all this stuff if you want to, but Green shirt underneath looks pretty good. He even got zippers molded on there, so I didn't have to do all that. Here's the back of it, just so you can see. I think I'll go with more of the classic design because I think that makes some sense. You know, the rat, uh, you know, hey, if you like that sort of thing, it's for you. If it's not, you can pass it on by. I don't like that I can't store two mines on here. It kind of doesn't make sense. I got to look at it, make sure I'm just not missing anything, but it seems crazy to include two mines and you can only store one. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, that has been number 78, Tripwire with Absara and McLeod, the rat and the robot. So two-pack G.I. Joe classified pickup. Thanks for watching the video. I do appreciate it. Stay tuned. I, I'm working on some Transformer stuff. I got a Transformer third-party uh, uh, Sandstorm legend, and uh, he's not... I mean, he's ugly. I don't know how they put it any other way. Not the best-looking bot I've ever seen, but... Stay tuned for that to come. Ratchet, I got to approve a delay. Uh, apparently, he's not coming today like he was supposed to. So, we'll have to approve that delay and see when that happens. But we got more stuff coming. And uh, I'm going to change up my display. So, stay tuned for that. Got a unique uh, thing happening down the road. So, I'll be doing a video on that. And uh, that should be interesting. Thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button. Help me out. We're at 2749. And... Uh, December's coming. Be nice to hit 3,000 at least by the end of the year. I'm, I'm just saying. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Uh, real quick, before we go, I did want to show him how I'm going to have him. Uh, man, the mines, uh, if you're not careful, you're going to tear, they get stuck in the backpack. You're going to tear them up. Uh, you can see this the white on the plastic there, trying to pry them up out of the backpack. Not a good design. And you can't store two, so that's unfortunate. Also, you know, nowhere to store the remote that I can see. Uh, maybe it could go on the drone. I'm not sure, but uh, let me know in the comments if you know where I could put that. So, overall, not bad. Um, some things I don't like. The arm falling out, that's not fun. 
Um, so we'll have to see about that, but that's very unfortunate. Uh, the amount of accessories, is he worth the price? I don't know. It's sort of a personal decision. Let me know in the comments. Are you picking this guy up? Uh, this is another one of those kind of iffy purchases for me. So, you know, I got it. It is what it is, but, uh, you decide. You make your choice. Let me know. And, uh, we'll see you down the road. And thanks for watching.